Nyahoy! And welcome aboard the sea, monkey. A mammoth package for some not-so-mammoth coins. Let's get into it. Good morning, YouTube stacking and coin collecting family. Welcome back to the channel. That's right, I've got a mammoth package. It's got some coins in it and some other stuff. So, let's get into this package. So, we've got a package from Appmex. I don't normally order from them. I do get some exclusive series from them when they have them available. <clears throat> As you guys have seen me show off, some of the series that I'm collecting from them, like the Icons of Inspiration series and Prehistoric Life series that are Atmex exclusive, but I'm not loyal to Atmex by any means. I actually prefer SD Bullion over Atmex, but recently I've been shopping on Bold, and uh, definitely check out Metal Merchants every week. They've got some killer stuff, killer deals. Alright, so let's see. We're into the package. Let's get that out of the way here. And first up, we've got one of those. And we've got two of those. And one of these. So I picked up a couple of the... Uh, used cases because I'm I've been acquiring some slabs um, PCGS I'm positive I ordered NGC boxes I'm gonna have to look at my order thing now if I screwed that up I'll be butthurt <sighs> I need NGC boxes, not PCGS boxes. Anyways, it's been rough last few weeks. Hectic, rough. We're coming into spring and working out in the yard, trying to get the garden going. Still trying to acclimate to this night job. Working nights wife works days got to try and take care of the kid during the day while getting some sleep yeah it's it's been rough so there's coinage and let's see i got some more supplies got some more tubes i got a quarter tube i got a nickel tube I got a, a dollar tube, which is supposed to be, that's supposed to be big enough for the, again, that's supposed to be a dollar tube for Canadian dollars, that's a presidential dollar tube, either I screwed up or they did. Either way, it is what it is. Let's see here. Twenty-six point five millimeter small dollar tube. That's the yeah, because the Canadian dollars are like thirty-six, and PCGS boxes. Uh, I screwed up, I guess. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, okay, so I got another Philharmonic, another Philharmonic. Another Philharmonic. That's three. 
Another Philharmonic for four. So we got four more Philharmonics there. And those are going to go ahead and go in the tube. That'll bring me up to seven Philharmonics. And then this guy, the brand new Atmex exclusive <clears throat> Democratic Republic of Congo. Woolly Mammoth. Brand new release, the 2021. It's the first one of the year. There will be two more coming out later this year. Not sure what they're going to be. I apologize for the shakiness. I have to get down here and prop my hands on something in order to hold this still. There you go. There's the prehistoric life. Woolly Mammoth. Can't really read the other stuff from down here. Apologize. Republic Democratique du Congo, 20 francs, one ounce of four nines, fine, pure silver. These are pretty nice coins. They are pretty proof like. They've got a nice cameo. See the little guys down there with their spears trying to take down the mammoth. This is a pretty cool one. I like the design on this one. Let's see if we can get in here and show you guys a better. There we go. You can see the, the guys with their spears trying to take down the mammoth. They get pretty good design on these guys. And you can see the individual hairs in the on the mammoth there and the blades of grass. Come on, focus. The hairs on the people's heads. So we've got uh, 0.8 million years to 1.8 years BC. And the tertiary age, 66 to 2.6 million years BC. <clears throat> oh, I see it lists all, oh, it lists all the ages, okay. So it lists the three ages around the rim. Not just the age that the creature was supposedly around in. But, uh, yeah, very nice. So we've got the, the woolly mammoth. Part four, my uh, camera doesn't seem to be looking very good today. Part four of the Prehistoric Life series from the Democratic Republic of Congo, an Apmex exclusive series. One of the few series that I am collecting that's a, a strictly Apmex um, purchase. I did have to go to the secondary market for the T-Rex because I started the collection late. I saw this come out and I was like, eh, that's interesting. Well, you know, that's, that's kind of cool. But I didn't get it. And then, of course, a couple of months later, my son proclaims this fascination with dinosaurs. And I was like, well... There's a dinosaur coin I saw on Atmex not too long ago. And uh, so I went back on there to look for it, and it was gone, of course. But see, these guys only all have 10,000 mintage, so they do sell out pretty quickly. And we've got the Mementosaurus. That was the secondary release. I picked this one up with this one in a single order from Atmex. So I got number two and number three at the same time. And then I purchased this one later on from eBay. And uh, now I've got part four. So we are now caught up on the series. Make sure these are not blinding people here. So 
We've got T-Rex, Plesiosaurus, Mementosaurus, and Woolly Mammoth. And that's the four in the series so far. And I wonder what they're going to bring out next. Could be Stegosaurus, could be uh, Brontosaurus, could be Triceratops. Who knows? There's so many. Could be a Sabertooth Cat. There are so many different options for them to, to pull from since it's not strictly related uh, to dinosaurs. It is the Prehistoric Life series, so they can pretty much throw anything in there that they want. Uh, looks like I needed a few more dollars to round out my cart to get $200. That's actually why I was buying the coin tubes and, and whatnot, was to get some extra extra monies in the cart but looks like I also picked up a one tenth ounce guinea shield I don't buy a lot of fractional like this because the premium on it is quite high this was like what five or six bucks but uh, and like I said I needed a little something extra in the cart and I there was no other supplies to buy. I had already bought all the supplies or, or put all the supplies that I had wanted in my cart. And so I was like, well, shoot, I guess I'll look at fractional rounds and see what they've got there. And so I got the guinea spade shield thing. Um, I think I actually got one of those from Aloha Stacker. And I've got uh, a 10th ounce Britannia from Flying Twinkie. Just another little silver coin to go in my box of silver coins. Oh, that's foreigns. Got one of my chests up here has got silver coins in it. Yeah, there we go. All my sil just random silver coins. And that's kind of why I bought the, the, the tubes. Just so that I'd have somewhere to put all that. But uh, I'll worry about that later. Cheap little dollar store chests. <laughs> let's get a glove on. Let's get these Philharmonics in the tube. And let's see. Here we got one. Wow. Well, if I actually cut all the way through the package. Two. Three. Now, I never planned on uh, stacking the Philharmonics specifically, but I ordered some random coins from SD Bullion, and that's what I ended up getting. And I got three of them, so I figured, you know what, might as well start a tube. And so that's what I did. Started a tube. I've got three 2020s in there. They were in really good shape and so since the premiums on Philharmonics seem to be relatively good um, crew grands Philharmonics they're all running right around a dollar to a dollar and a half above a generic round while the Eagles are still running like eight and nine bucks premium six bucks you know above like a generic round so if I can pay a dollar more for a sovereign coin versus like six dollars for a sovereign coin I'll stack the, the the cheaper sovereign coins they are gaining popularity as the silver squeeze continues and the silver shortage continues and everybody seems to be having trouble obtaining silver um Local coin shops are starting to pay more for your Krugerrand and your Philharmonic and, and stuff like that instead of only giving you spot for it. So, times are changing. Inflation's here. You know, I, I stack the best I can on a, on a budget, so to speak. If you guys follow my $15 a week challenge, I'm up to eight and three quarters ounces of silver and six ounces of copper.
for right around, what was it, $315, I think I'm up to, or maybe it was something like that, you know, whatever $15 times 21 weeks comes out to is, you know, the approximate amount of money spent on that challenge, and I'm at 8.75 silver and 6 ounces of copper, so that's doing decent for my cost averaging buying these that's doing decent for my cost average um, surprisingly enough this was the same price as that philharmonic so i paid 45 i think or 49 for this because it sold out and went on to the secondary market prices went up you know that's just how it is i don't expect that to happen with the rest of the series uh, inaugural coins tend to be the most popular T-Rex in himself is inherently popular so I don't know if, if these will ride the same premium train that that guy did but I'm collecting the set and I'm trying not to pay much more than I'm paying for a sovereign coin for these guys so when the set is complete hopefully it'll have a little bit more value than just the inherent value of the silver that I paid for initially. Um, if not, well, it's still an ounce of silver. And I only paid 32 something for it. I think it was 31 or 32 something for each of these. Like I said, it was like 45 for that guy on the secondary, but that's how it rolls, you know, when I was actually I got my, my slip right here, I can look. Um, let's see. Wooly Mammoth was 37. Okay, so he was a few a few bucks more. Um, and Phil Harmonics were 34. Okay, so Spot was up that day. Um, I was looking on Atmex just about an hour ago and stuff's like 32 something right now. So Spot must have been up a little bit. Uh, the Phil Harmonics were 34.76 each, and the uh, Wooly Mammoth was only three dollars more, or two and a half more. Yeah, two and a half, two fifty more at thirty-seven twenty-six. So I mean, my, my ultimate premium on that is two fifty, above and beyond what I could have got a sovereign coin for. So really, not too bad. Video starting to get long, starting ramble, need to wrap it up, but uh, I needed to get that out there so you guys can kind of understand why I'm why I'm purchasing these, why I'm getting them. If I can get them at the same price or right around the same price as the Sovereign coin, um, it's still an ounce of silver, still has that same intrinsic value, but the set may go up, and the fact that they're all limited mintage may make them go up in the future. So who knows, it's uh, a speculative gamble, so to speak, but it's also stacking silver. Even if it's more premium-esque silver. So, um, I've done kind of a video on what I stack and why and, and kind of how. So, if you guys are interested in going back and checking that out, it was a couple of weeks ago on a Saturday. Um, and I showed off some of my series that I'm collecting. This was one of them. But yeah, uh, so we've got an unboxing there. We've got the 2021 Wooly Mammoth, fresh from Apmex, and the Democratic Congo Mint, I guess. The Republic, Demo uh, Republic Democratic Congo Mint. However you say that. But yeah, they're making good looking coins. I like them. They're not, I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty proofy. I can see the reflection of my phone. There you go. Now you can see the reflection of my phone. So, pretty proofy. I like them. I wasn't uh, too stoked on them at first, but the, the set's kind of growing on me. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you all for watching. I think that's everything I have for you today. If you do like what you saw and heard, go ahead and uh, smash that little red button down below if you haven't. 
and make sure you ring the bell to be notified of any future content. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night and God bless.